In the best of the rest of the news, last week, the Republican National Committee officially selected Cleveland, Ohio as the host city for the 2016 Republican National Convention. That makes it all the more interesting that this week, that same city is playing host to the global gay games. Now, some Republicans in Ohio are using the gay games as a way to show that the Republican Party can be gay friendly. In what's being called an historic first, the Republican Party of Cuyahoga County, Ohio, has partnered with the Log Cabin Republicans as official supporters of the global gay games. In a move meant to show that the Republican Party is welcoming to all those who are for limited government and personal responsibility, regardless of their sexual orientation. Joining me now for more on this historic partnership and the Republican Party ex Party's apparent acceptance of gay rights is Gregory Angelo, National Executive Director of the Log Cabin Republicans. Gregory, it's great to have you with us. Thanks, Tom. My pleasure. Thanks, thanks, for, uh, thanks for showing up tonight. Um, how did this partnership with, with uh, Cuyahoga County Republicans come about? I mean, you know, Jimmy DeSalvo is, is a friend, and he's, he's been through some rough times with the Republican Party over the last couple of years. And, and uh, you know, I do, this, I do the show at CPAC every year, have for the last seven years. And yeah. it, it's, it's, you know it's been a rocky road. So what's, yeah, sure. what's, what's going on? Well, you know, I mean, the, the, the whole reason that this partnership with the Cuyahoga County GOP came about is because shortly after the RNC issued its recommendation that Cleveland be the host city for the 2016 RNC National Convention, the Cuyahoga County GOP wanted to get ahead of the curve and say, look, we are open for business to everyone, including members of the LGBT community. And they turned around and saw a great opportunity in the gay games coming to Cleveland within weeks. And they said, how can we get involved? Well, it turned out that Log Cabin Republicans of Ohio was already participating in this year's gay games. We have a booth at the Festival Village, and uh, we're, already, we're already signed up. So it just seemed like a natural partnership for the two organizations. And they've been nothing but a pleasure to work with. They want to make a point of showing Showing that the Cuyahoga County GOP, let's keep in mind this is the GOP that represents Cleveland, uh, is welcoming of people in the LGBT community, and the gay voters should take a second look at the Republican Party, both in 2014 and as we look ahead to 2016. In, in some ways, this is almost a mirror of the, of the situation with Hispanics in the Republican Party. You've got some folks in the party who are actively trashing gays. Uh, you've got other people in the party, apparently the Republicans in Cuyahoga County in particular, who are saying, cool, you know, we'll, we will be all one family now. Um, and meanwhile, a bridal shop in Pennsylvania just refused to do business with a same-sex couple, which is legal in Pennsylvania, and that's been kind of uh, advertised as a good thing over on Fox News and right-wing talk radio. Um, what are the, what's the state of things with the Republican Party and and the log cabin Republicans specifically and more generally the LGBT community. Do you, do you see an well, evolution or are we seeing a balkanization? Yeah, well, I don't know that the, I, I, I haven't seen the specific clip in Fox News that you're referring to. I, I, I have my doubts as to whether or not a commentator on Fox News explicitly used the phrase a good thing when it came to denying an LGBT, uh, a lesbian couple in particular, uh, bridal gowns. But I, I just point this Probably out, that right, right now there's a balancing act going on between Democrats and Republicans within the Democratic Party and within the Republican Party, this balancing act between LGBT rights and religious liberties. And there are individuals on the right that feel if you support LGBT equality in any degree, that must mean that you are opposed to religious liberty. And there are many on the left that believe if you just use the phrase religious liberty, that is somehow code for being anti-gay. I think that the, the, the solution lies somewhere in the middle, where we can respect people's personal beliefs, their particular uh, faith uh, beliefs, and also recognize non-discrimination for LGBT individuals. It's one of the reasons why Log Cabin and Republicans continues to support the Employment Non-Discrimination Act and its passage within this Congress. We feel that it's a bill that strikes a nice balance between religious liberty and anti-discrimination for LGBT individuals. And so there's conversations that need to happen within both parties right now when it comes to those issues. Yeah. But, I mean, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Republican voters just voted. This had nothing to do with gay marriage. They just said no more uh, equal benefits for, for domestic partnerships. You know, uh, it, it's retrograde. You're right. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, well, it, I'd say this. I mean, it's, it's moments like that that 
thankfully are becoming fewer and far between at this point, but they continue to show me that there is a need and a reason for log cabin Republicans, and perhaps even in a greater respect, for equality-minded Republicans to advocate those issues to Republicans as Republicans. That's why I remain a member of the Republican Party. That's why our membership in Log Cabin Republicans actually continues to grow over the course of the time that I've been this organization's executive director. People want to lend their voice to this movement, and they want to do so in some of the reddest of red states, at the tip of the spear. And that's where our message is most important. That's where we need to reach out to people in the evangelical Christian I, community. I agree with you, that's where we need to reach out to people in, 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 in the reddest of red states in order to, to make sure that you know, yeah. non discrimination isn't even something we yeah. need to legislate. I'm, I'm with you. Gregory, we're out of time. Believe in, um, Anyway, sure. I, I completely agree, and I would love to see the Republican Party wake up, come to its senses, and, and uh, Thanks, Tom. you're a part of that. Thank you.